everybody and welcome to another video. In this video it's going to be another tutorial improvement and we're going to be improving on the BAT111. Now I was originally going to uh, do this, my second tutorial improvement on the Vickers VC10 but after I decided that I was going to uh, redo that tutorial because I did it so badly uh, yeah this is this is just the next one in line so I thought hmm, I'll do this as uh, I might as well so uh, yeah, there is uh, there has been quite some radical changes to this, and uh, some of the changes that I've done to this uh, will appear in all my next tutorials, like on all my new ones, and uh, or on my next tutorial improvement. So I won't actually say what they are, like I uh, like I usually do when I'll just pan around the aircraft, and you can just have a look. Uh, so uh, I won't come right out and say what they are, but yeah, you can just have a look, see uh, what uh, how and uh, what has changed. So. Uh, so yeah, um, <coughs> uh, what was I going to say? I don't know. Um, oh yeah, uh, one thing I didn't actually say uh, in the uh, in that in the original tutorial was uh, that this is actually built uh, under license in Romania. Uh, it was called the Romback 11, so like Romania and BAC. So they just put ROM in front of it, so it was the Romback 11. And I can't remember exactly how many were built there, but yeah, it was built there under license. So. So yeah, um, <coughs> uh, so I th oh well, so going to <laughs> you might want to see the interior. Uh, see, I've changed that. Cause I've changed that uh, quite a bit. And just walked right out. Well done, my burble. Uh, so yeah, I've got the cockpit here, uh, and um, also got our cabin and our uh, water closet at the back. And I don't know why I said water closet in an Indian accent. Then I was just like, what the closet? Um, right. <laughs> yeah, let's actually go on to the tutorial then, shall we? So, uh, yeah, this was also the first tutorial where I actually uh, built the wings uh, and tailplane in grey. And so, uh, we won't have to do that for this tutorial, so... Uh, so, yeah, uh, I think that, um... <coughs> Uh, I think we'll just get straight uh, straight into this tutorial. Also, uh, this controller I have is a little bit loud, it's because uh, my the, uh, the original one I had broke, and, um, hang on, where is it? It's a green light-up one, so, um, oh no, why wasn't it coming on? There we are. Uh, yeah, it's green. <laughs> green and light-up, and, um, you know, it's a lot louder, like the, the, the inputs I do, yeah, they make a lot more noise than the other one but did, but whatever. You can still hear my voice over them, so it should be fine. So, uh, as always, uh, I built the uh, the original plane that I did for the tutorial in the exact form that I did for that. Uh, I put it behind, so uh, so that's where we will work from. So, so yeah, we will just get right into this uh, tutorial improvement. So, as I always do, I start I start with the nose and uh, I go uh, and uh, work my way backwards. So, the first thing. That we can do. It's nice and easy. Uh, or there's uh, there's, uh, there's two things. Uh, you can just break this uh, n um, this dark oak fence gate because you don't actually need that. And you can also break the slab. Uh, that helps around the uh, the front of that off a little bit because it just looked a little bit too jaggedy for my liking. Uh, so just break that. And uh, also, uh, what we can do if you just grab some carpet, uh, where all these front slabs are. So uh, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Uh, put those with carpet, but as you can see, that's floating, it doesn't look very good. So what you can do, you can just move them down uh, one block, uh, one, one like half a block, So and then you just put them in there, uh, in there, and whoops, you might, <laughs> might want to uh, break that, and uh, just keep all the other ones there. Uh, you don't uh, have to change them at all, it's just the front. Uh, and I did this, uh, this was the change that I was talking about at the start. Uh, this is the uh, the only change that um, well this or not the only change but this is uh, one of the changes which is going to be on uh, all the new tutorials I do. Um, I can show you this on the plane. Is it, have I did, did I do it over here? No, it's the other side. <laughs> oh yeah, I have a yeah I have quite a jumble that pattern of aircraft here. So um, ah here it is. Uh, so this is called the Vickers Viking, and uh, as you can see, I've done the same here. Uh, that's just so it rounds off the uh, the. Um, the nose rounds off a little bit better, so no, I don't want to go there. I want to go here. So, uh, yep, yeah, that is a uh, that is um, part of the nose done. So, uh, so now what you can do, uh, where 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 where, where, <laughs> where all these slabs are, what you can do, you can just break them, and uh, you can then um, put carpet down uh, where the uh, yeah where um, it used to be. So uh, where where also the slab is. Um, 
Oh, I originally had put that as a block, but I guess you can keep that as a swap, though. That would be better, so. Uh, yeah. Uh, just break that and uh, put that in and put that in and put that in. Just cover it up with carpet. And originally, yeah, because um, when I did my Vickers VC10, that was one of the first planes I actually did um, uh, when I actually uh, designed it. Um, I thought that um, all uh, my dad, my dad actually showed me that if I uh, if I actually built uh, like a uh, if I actually built some slabs on top of the roof, it would round off a little bit. But I kind of went crazy and did it with all my aircraft. So way that uh, as you can see here, I've done it like this. So so yeah, uh, eventually I will be, uh, I will, um, <coughs> uh, yeah, just uh, be removing them. So uh, for the rudder, um, I'm actually kind of going in a crazy order, but whatever. Uh, for the rudder, uh, the only thing that's changed, uh, to my belief, is to uh, actually add a, uh, is to switch up that, um, switch out that stair for a block there. That just runs off a little bit better. And also on the back here, um, I put this here, but uh, when I actually did the tutorial, I didn't actually put a slab here and a slab here uh, so yeah that's meant to be like that because when I finish because um, when I was uh, building this um, I because uh, um, once I finished it um, I went to have a look over to the, the um, to the original one here where I've changed it all up and I thought I thought hang on is that right so I looked there and found that wasn't so yeah just do that um, another thing uh, that we need to do now is the uh, is the engines I think I'll do the ones last uh, like I usually do. So, just before we actually get onto the engines, there's a few things we need to do to actually kind of set it up, if you know what I mean. So, uh, one of these, uh, one of them is actually uh, this stretch here. So, uh, there's actually a slab here, so if we just break that, and then you also break this block and put a slab there, and then you just break these two here. So, I'll round that off a little bit, so uh, break those two, um, do that, uh, like that. And I'll uh, create it. Uh, a little bit more rounded, so uh, yeah, it will uh, <coughs> it will help round the plane off uh, a little bit more. So uh, another thing, uh, but this al this also helps the cabin for a reason I will say when I do the interior. It also helps the engine, so because uh, um, we're going to be moving then. So what you can do, uh, where we've got this uh, this slab here, just move it to this block here, and then fill that all up with blocks, including that slab. So uh, just redo all of that, uh, like so, and like that. Uh, that we can uh, <coughs> that will uh, uh, just uh, make the uh, make where the engine will be uh, next placed uh, a little bit better and uh, a lot more uh, yeah a lot more realistic so uh, so there's a uh, also uh, quite another drastic change so uh, with this engine I'll need to grab uh, everything that I'll need uh, the engine is probably the most changed uh, part of it uh, so I also I also need. Uh, stone brick slabs and stone brick stairs, and I have two pieces of stone for some reason. Um, I don't know why. Uh, so I should have kept that up there, and I can also get a uh, stone brick stair since I don't have that. Oh no, another brick. Uh, stone stairs. So uh, I will uh, just swap out potion of swiftness and cauldron uh, for the stone, uh, like this. So. Uh, for the engines, what we're actually going to do is uh, we're going to move them uh, in one and down one and change it all to grey and uh, also a few other things as well. So uh, yeah, what the, so if you don't know what I mean by this, we're just going to remove uh, this bit that sticks out because uh, uh, I thought that the, it just didn't really look very good uh, for on the real thing where they're actually placed. It just stuck out, uh, stuck out really um, too far really for my liking. So uh, yeah, what you can do. Uh, so uh, you can, uh, you might as well just leave that uh, that little stretch there, and uh, and because the engine, or you can, um, hang on, let me uh, <laughs> let me actually uh, just show you the engine uh, instead of me trying to remember it. So yeah, uh, just do it with the engine. Uh, just start, start placing the stone because yeah, that's what you're going to be doing. Um, that's what colour it's going to be. So uh, yeah, just add that block there, and uh, ch just change out uh, the rest of these. Uh, for uh, for stone, and uh, since this is going to be moved, uh, you can uh, or this is this bit is going to be the um, going to be the new uh, roof part. Uh, I guess and oh no, <laughs> um, I think we've done it wrong. Hang on. Yep, well done me. <laughs> I forgot we're moving it one down. So there is actually where you need it. So none of that uh, like um, just re replacing it with uh, <coughs> with stone. Uh, just yeah, you'll just have to break that, and we also won't need, won't need this. 
so actually that uh, that needs to be stone and um, just to place it on all these stairs and slabs. Uh, oh, whoops! Uh, just do that and uh, replace this with stone. Uh, so yeah, that will be the uh, that will be the side of the engine, uh, which was the old bottom part. So just break out all these stairs and everything, which are originally a part of it, and uh, you can just break everything else uh, that was originally part of the engine, uh, like this. Uh, oh, I don't need to place that. Uh, so just break everything else and uh, all these slabs here. So ooh, whoops. I like that. So uh, now we've got the engine in the right place, and uh, that's why I moved this up. So yeah, it would look, actually look all right. So uh, on the back, instead of a block of iron, I'm going to be changing this for a uh, dark grey wall and the button. That's what I do for my, with my engines now. And uh, also with the engines, to uh, smooth it out a little bit, we're going to add a slab uh, on the front uh, like this, and we are also uh, going to have uh, just three stairs because uh, the other one was uh, that, uh, that slab at the front, it used to be a stair and we're just going to have the two slabs on the back uh, oh no, that's blocks! we're going to have two slabs on the back uh, yeah, like we uh, like we did before uh, except this is all in grey, so uh, we did the idea uh, so just the three stairs in there put that stair and uh, in here, uh, like we normally do if I, just, if I can uh, just grab it uh, we have glowstone and some iron bars I also need a little bit more swiftness Oh, I've just seen that we're starting to run out. Uh, so uh, glowstone uh, back here, and uh, ooh no, not water. <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, iron bars in front of it. So, uh, so yeah, that uh, that is it for the engines. What you can do, you can just do the same on the other side. Um, did I uh, pull this to the, uh, the front? Um, oh yeah, I did. But uh, yeah, just do the same on the other side. This is what I'm going to do, and uh, then we can move on to the next bit of the uh, tutorial improvement. So the next bit of the uh, of the further tutorial improvement. Uh, oh, I need to grab some uh, white wool. Uh, what you can do uh, where we have all these slabs uh, because we've already broken this. This was originally 14 blocks long, and uh, because we've broken one at the front, uh, that will make this 12. Um, hang on, what the hell? Um, oh, do we break two? Um, I don't know. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is uh, this is meant to be eleven slabs long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That means you need to uh, break these two here. Uh, yeah, this because uh, we're going to be moving the wing uh, just slightly. <coughs> so uh, yeah, we are going to be uh, we are going to be moving the wing in uh, all sorts of places, I believe. Uh, if I just uh, I can just show you it here. Uh, so what we've done. Uh, we've just broken these two blocks here, uh, so that's uh, yeah, that's uh, <coughs> that's how that works. Also, at the back where we uh, where we have the three slabs, it's just go just this is just going to be reduced to one because uh, we're going to be moving away. Uh, back here as well, so. Uh, yeah, this is just, uh, like I said, this is just setting up for how we're going to do the wing. Uh, I am going to be demolishing it and doing the whole thing again, uh, since it is, uh, yeah, since we've moved it quite a lot, but uh, it's pretty much the same thing that I did for the uh, for the original tutorial, but, you know, like I said, uh, we are going to be changing it a little bit, so I think I'll do everything else before the wings, although I don't know if there is anything I can do. Uh, nope, there isn't. So, yeah, we will... Uh, um, I'll just find out what we have to do for the wings. Uh, I'll try and do it in uh, in one whole take, if you know what I mean. Uh, but yeah, uh, we will uh, we will go get onto the uh, the completely changed wings. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, just before we actually get started um, uh, with the wings, I've just realised that on the tail plane, uh, we actually have to break these uh, these two blocks at the end here because uh, I thought that it was a little bit too pokey outy, if you know what I mean. Uh, so I decided to remove that. Um, also, could we do that? Um, yeah, you can do that as well. Um, yeah, I didn't write that down, but whatever. That looks, uh, yeah, that looks better. Uh, so just do that as well. Uh, so yeah, we will uh, finally uh, get onto the wings. Uh, there isn't actually anything else now uh, that I know of. Uh, so yeah, we will get straight onto them. So for the uh, for the wings, what we what we're gonna have to do, um, we're gonna have to destroy destroy uh, the top layer. Um, of the, we're going to have to destroy the top layer of this, but we're just going to move it one down. Uh, this also includes uh, removing all these slabs under here that we did, uh, like this. And uh, yeah, we uh, will have to uh, remove everything. But what we can do, uh, if we just do this, uh, it will we'll, it will then be easier uh, to because I've changed the wing shape slightly. It will just be easier to uh, to do uh, to do it if we just uh, move it down one block. So uh, just do that. Uh, 
for good. You know, uh, so just break everything, you know, not include, including slabs. Uh, yeah, including slabs. Uh, yeah, you want, you'll want to do that. Uh, so just uh, <coughs> so do the same here and here and here. Uh, uh, yep, yeah, just to fill up everything. All in the middle, uh, including those slabs, like them. Uh, so uh, just create this like this, and uh, yep, yeah, you'll just create that. So uh, there's not going to be uh, this little chunky bit at the bottom anymore. So uh, yeah, just go destroy that, and uh, I will get back to you. So I have done that. Um, I'll do. I I won't do the same on the other side. Uh, otherwise, we're just going to be here forever. But yeah, we're just. Um, uh, so we have. Uh, so you've got this. Um, you've now got your wing here. Uh, also, uh, another thing. Um, yeah, I did forget because that's just me. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's uh, there is a few things uh, also that we need to do here. So, um, and uh, I forgot to put buttons on this. Oh, how stupid am I? Um, <laughs> yeah, first thing, remember to put buttons on your wheels before you do into two royal improvements. Second thing, what we need to do is uh, for me to uh, actually check how to do this. So let me start again. The second thing you need to do is uh, where where this uh, the slab is. Uh, this uh, now only one slab. Uh, in line with this, you're just going to have to place a slab underneath there in the middle, and you're going to have two of them. Then you're just going to come out uh, again, just fill that up. Then you're going to come out again, and then you're just going to pull this all forward. Uh, and this is going to be um, where where is this going to be? Uh, so the, it is it is just going to be right there. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was good of me there. So uh, just leave three blocks here. So you got one, two, three, uh, like that. So uh, just do the same on the other side, and like this. Uh, just fill all of this up, and this creates the uh, the underbelly of the aircraft. Uh, I uh, I added it in the last minute because uh, yeah, the uh, the actual <coughs> yeah the uh, the the wings uh, they looked uh, it, it was too flat, and uh, the, it, it's not meant to be uh, it's not meant to be flat. Uh, so uh, yeah yeah, it's not really be good. Uh, Flat on the bottom, so um, I was wondering why that's like that. It's just that we haven't actually uh, uh, done that side yet. So uh, then you're just going to have two, and then you're going to have three, kind of like that, and that will create the uh, the underbelly. It may look a little bit weird. Uh, that's just because it's a little bit darker, but when it's in the air and everything, it would uh, it would uh, actually look realistic. So uh, so yeah, uh, I will uh, so um, <coughs> yeah, I'll just uh, find out how to do uh, the wings for you. So what we're going to do is just uh, we're going to be adding uh, a few blocks uh, in places and some not. So uh, what you're going to do, you're just going to add a block here and a block here. So this will make four of these. Uh, and then uh, what you're going to do uh, on here, we are going to be creating a uh, I can't remember what they're called. I can't remember what they're called, but what they uh, what they were because the uh, the AC111, like the prototype, actually crashed uh, because uh, yeah the airflow was disrupted and it hit the tailplane. Uh, yeah, it caused metal fatigue and caused it to like stay shifted up and then nose dive in the ground. We couldn't do anything about it. But what are you going to do? Uh, you're just going to create one of these. Uh, you're just going to have uh, an upside down stair uh, on this two that you've got on the edge two, uh, and then you're going to have a uh, four uh, on the back of it like that. And uh, yeah, that will just kind of create. That will just create it. Um, yeah, I, I can't remember what they're called. I think it begins with a B. Um, yeah, whatever. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, whatever, it, whatever it's called, uh, yeah, it is there now. So for the next bit, um, I remember it this way. So you have one, one, two, one, one, two, one, and then you have another two, uh, like this. And uh, this, uh, this will create, uh, this will create the, um <coughs> yeah, this will create uh, a different uh, wing shape. You're then just going to add uh, another one on the end like that, and uh, you're just going to make this uh, so uh, there's actually two on the end like that. And uh, you're just going to have these two up. And uh, what we're actually going to do now, uh, what I've made it is so that there's actually uh, only three, uh, like on the back, apart from this last bit here, because uh, that is just uh, that's where the wing kind of connects in. So uh, yeah, we're gonna just going to make this three. So just do that. And uh, apart from the edge one, that's going to be three. So uh, I guess from the top you can kind of see the different in difference in wing shape. Uh, this one uh, looks a lot more realistic. That one's a little bit too. Yeah, if you know what I mean. Uh, so yeah, um, I will. Uh, so I'll just check that that's all right, and uh, yeah, we can uh, do the same on the other side, and uh, then we all move on to the next bit of the tutorial improvement. 
yep, that is everything, but just before I do that and then get onto the interior, which is going to be the next bit, um, I just want to say that um, the reason why I moved the engines down is, uh, or no, the reason why I moved the, moved the wings down is because uh, I had to move the engines down as well. Because I was uh, I was loitering with the engines because uh, for the Hawker City Trident, which uh, I'm, I'm not going to be doing the next time, but maybe the time after that, um, I was moving these engines down because uh, they seemed to be in the wrong place. And uh, I was about to do the BAC 111 uh, tutorial improvement, and I thought, um, you yeah, know, I was about to do this video, and I thought, hmm. Oh, this needs uh, this needs changing. Also, I've just seen on the engines. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah, I have uh, I've done it wrong uh, already. Well done, me. So uh, just grab your uh, just grab some stone, a button, and some of your dark grey wool. Uh, so there's actually meant to be a block here. Then this uh, this button on the top, uh, all the side uh, on there, on the back, and then just add slabs underneath there because this makes the uh, the engine uh, stretch out a little bit more. So we'll just do this. Uh, replace that with stone. Uh, like that, and uh, put this on the front, uh, on the back rather, uh, on the back, whatever. Uh, but yeah, this makes the engine so more stretched. Uh, that's how that's going to be. I nearly forgot about all that. Uh, well done, me. That's a uh, hmm. good go, go, me, I guess. Um, but yeah, I had to move the wings down because one, that would make it look more realistic, and two, uh, yeah, because otherwise, uh, if they stayed up here, then the wing, the wing will be in line with this. And that wouldn't look very realistic because then the airflow would have to like go over the top of the wings and into the engine. But it's not meant to do that. It's just meant to go straight over the wings and into the engine. <laughs> so uh, yeah, um, I will just do the same on the other side with the wing, uh, with this wing here. I will uh, just get everything done on that, and we can uh, get onto the uh, improved interior of this aircraft. So just one more thing, and I promise this is the last thing. Um, I don't know whether you, uh, I don't know whether I actually said this, but. Uh, I wanted to say anyway. Uh, just make sure that your th these are just the last two. Uh, the last two are still up, like you did on the original one, because this was this was up originally. But you want to put that down. Um, yeah, when I was building this, I thought, did I mention that? Um, yeah, I don't know if I did. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, that is uh, that is everything uh, exterior wise. Uh, if you want to keep your interior, you can, but. Uh, yeah, I've uh, I've decided that um uh, yeah I've decided on my new interior uh, for the for this uh, for this aircraft. So um, yeah, I'll just uh, go have a look at that, and uh, that will be uh, that will be it for this uh, for this tutorial improvement. So for the interior of this aircraft, uh, what we're going to do, uh, we're just going to remove this glowstone. Uh, I literally decided this just uh, just a minute ago because uh, I thought I mm, so, uh, uh, we don't really need that light in there. I mean it's lit it's lit up in there already. So uh, yeah, what you can also do just Grab your carpet, cover that up, and uh, also fall off the stairs. And <laughs> yeah, just come back in. And uh, what you can do, uh, where this pressure plate is, I'm doing this with my uh, with my cockpits now. Uh, get rid of that. Put two buttons either side, uh, like that. This is uh, this is all still the same. So yeah, that doesn't need to be changed uh, at all. So uh, then, what you can do, where these front seats are, you can uh, just remove these and uh, put a uh, sort of barrier around here. Uh, kind of a walkway, archway thing, uh, kind of separates uh, the doors off from the uh, from the actual cabin. And uh, also, what you can do, uh, I didn't grab this, so I should have done. Uh, you can um, you can pr replace uh, all these slabs up here uh, with stairs. Uh, I also do this. Uh, this uh, this uh, makes the cabin uh, a little bit more rounded off and uh, a lot more like an aircraft cabin. Uh, because uh, before I used these, and I thought, oh, that'd be good for sort of luggage compartments, but. Yeah, it kind of makes the air aircraft more cramped, and it also uh, doesn't really look realistic. Where, yeah, once you uh, once you um, when you look at it at an angle, and uh, yeah, like when you're at the front or when you're at the back, it's it's just or you're in the middle sort of thing. Looking either way, it doesn't really look uh, that realistic. Um, I guess so. Uh, also, another thing, uh, another reason why I uh, why I actually changed that bit with the engine, why I moved that forward. Is because uh, that I actually wanted to room for another seat because originally there was a slab where this block is. Uh, yeah, there was a, the slab used to be like that, and I was like, oh, I wish I could put a seat here. I want an extra seat, so I uh, just break this for now. We will uh, be uh, editing that. Uh, so just break the seat, uh, not the seat. Just break all this wall. Though you also have to just move uh, your stairs one back, uh, like this. And uh, also for my stairs, uh, just before we do them, uh, just break all of these, uh, like so, because we uh, we don't actually need them anymore. And uh, I think I'll just uh, put that back in. Uh, so uh, yeah, I just do this uh, like that. And uh, I put a uh, jungle uh, wood stairs in. So just do this, this, this uh, in the same format that I did. Just uh, replace them with a uh, jungle wood stairs. 
So uh, I thought they would uh, they would give it a little bit of more of a funky design uh, than my just uh, plain uh, oakwood stairs, which I originally had. So uh, just keep on doing this up until here, up until here. So um, uh, also what you can do uh, uh, between each seat, uh, not in the middle, but between each seat, just add some orange carpet uh, like this. And the reason why we can't do it in the middle is uh, a reason I will uh, just tell you in a minute once we actually get to it. Uh, so just fill all this up with carpet. Uh, like that, and like that, and uh, I swear that's where you all. No, it wasn't. Um, <laughs> I'm just going a bit crazy there. Uh, so, uh, oh, don't need to go forward, but what you can do, uh, where the, where between the seats, just add. Um, oh, I didn't need to go to the front. Uh, where the seats are, uh, put um, fence gates in between them. And the reason why you can't put carpet there because it'll be kind of weird in a checkered pattern uh, of the of the different coloured carpets there. But I guess you can do that if you were uh, if you wanted to make uh, kind of a funky floor. But uh, it depends on the colour. Uh, it depends on the colour that you want your uh, you want the uh, the underbelly of your aircraft to look like. So uh, we'll do the toilet while we're here. Uh, so uh, what I've done uh, originally this was really cramped. So uh, uh, what you can do just remove everything uh, here and uh, just uh, uh, just uh, you'll have to put the uh, the lever uh, that you uh, that was originally there. You'll have to put that back, uh, but just in a different place. Just put it there and uh, grab your uh, door. Uh, which originally originally there, just move that one back, and like so. And um, oh, I didn't put a uh, didn't put a fence gate there. Uh, so just put you uh, yeah, just put your fence gate there. I'm just going to take some more swiftness. Uh, just put your fence gate there and just uh, open them all up like this. Uh, don't open the other way because yeah, doesn't look realistic. Uh, I do that because they look a little bit like armrests. I got the idea of drawing go TV. Uh, if you're wondering, so uh, yeah, that will uh, that will be it for the interior too. And, uh, oh, did I actually do the slab? No, I didn't. Um, no, I didn't. Right, now it's the, now that's the, that's it finished. Uh, yeah, that is the, uh, the AC111 up to date. Uh, in, uh, that's the most up to date version, uh, that I've done for it. Um, I was thinking about that I'm probably going to be doing a third, like, uh, tutorial improvement, uh, not a third one, but a second one, uh, rather, for each of my planes, because I'm probably going to be redoing them. Or I will just, uh, redo the, two, the tutorial improvement. I don't know, so uh, yeah, uh, that will be, uh, that, uh, I doubt I will, but yeah, this will, because uh, my designs are changing all the time. Uh, so yeah, that will be it for the uh, the tutorial improvement of the BAC111. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching, and thank you for taking time out of your day. If you my channel, and click on this video, and hope you watched it this morning. Hope you did. Uh, yeah, this is uh, this is um, uh, roughly the same length that my tutorial improvements are going to be now. And, uh, yeah, every time, I always say this, but just like looking at the two planes exactly the same, like one behind another. It's pretty cool. So, um, yeah, again, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. You should search and just that one as well. Bye!